so we're going to do a couple speed tests. This is my Samsung Galaxy S 4G phone on the 4G. It's got three bars. It's about 6.30 p.m. You know, traffic on the internet should be whatever. So let's just run a couple tests. Download's not bad, you know, it's wireless. There's other people using it probably. But the upload, the upload shames the Cox Communications upload speed. Six out of ten times easily. By going over just two megabit. Which is pretty funny because, you know, I should be able to at least get 2.5 megabit every single time I use them. But, you know. The upload of my T-Mobile wireless is actually a hell of a lot greater. It's pretty sad. Pretty sad when you look at the network that has a infrastructure versus one that has airwaves and purchases bandwidth from telcos or whatever manipulation of money they do. Anyway, so that was the 4G. Let's turn on the Wi-Fi. So we got the Wi-Fi connected. You got anywhere from one to none on the Wi-Fi bars. Sure. So we do a little download start. Takes a minute. I'm not sure what the fuck it's doing. You know. It apparently didn't even work on the first download. That's how well it worked. Let's try that again. So we get, you know, over 10 megabit. But the upload is considerably crappy all the time. The consistency of the crappiness of the upload speed is confounding. Because the download speeds are so efficient, most of the time not, sarcasm. But then you look at the upload speed and you go, holy shit. That's not even five times as fast as the download. How am I supposed to upload anything without wasting my fucking time? I don't know, but they want to feed you as much data as they can as quickly as possible. But they don't want you to speak nearly as quickly or as easily. Now, just for sanity's sake, we'll try the Ookloo's actual speed test. Not that Ookloo did not not make the FCC one, but this one just looked pretty and shiny, doesn't it? So we go a little download speed on the Wi-Fi, trips over 13 megabit, it's alright. But the upload is still terrible. Doesn't matter what server you talk to, the upload is always going to be consistent and terrible. The download speed will always be completely variable and vary anywhere from 25 megabit down to as little as less than 10. But the upload speed is always at least 1.8, which is consistent, I guess, but my problem is it could be faster. 1.8 is not even the Doxus 1.0 specification, and yet they're trying to sell me Doxus 3.0 technology that does not allow me to upload at Doxus 3.0 speeds. That is just another efficient use of their business to make money off of people. Now again, I mean this is just downloads and uploads and you can see the consistency of the wireless speed test. It's always 1.8 anywhere from whatever to 10 and in between. You turn off the Wi-Fi, turn off the Bluetooth to actually turn it on, wait for the 4G data connection to reconnect, and try again. So yeah, 4G download speeds. Not quite over 10 megabit. Whatever. But again, it's the upload speed which is always going to outperform the Cox.
just how it is. Unfortunate. People should not have to put up with it. I'll tell you that much. I can upload almost a megabit faster on my phone using a data plan, a wireless data plan, where they will not slow me down. And yet Cox says 1.8, that's it. You can't upload any faster. And we need to protect our analog. Yeah.